yes, you read the title right. I don't think that you like the lip combination that I use. I think that you like the technique. So I'm gonna share with you today the technique that I use that is absolutely foolproof for me. Even though I do have vertical lines on my lips, I love this technique because it's so simple and so easy and it really does make your lips look their very best at any given time. So I think you're gonna love the technique, but first let's get into what I have on. Okay, my shirt has a lot going on with it today, but I still think it's a really cute shirt. It is a cold shoulder that has, well, it's not really cold shoulder because that would be, you know, off the shoulder kind of thing, but I love that it has these ties right here on it. I love the length of its tunic length and then the crisscross right here. And then on the back, it has another tie back there. So it does have a lot going on with it. And I still, I just think that it's really cute. And then I just paired it with a pair of my compression pants. I've talked to you about these forever. They just hold you in if you ever have any problems with blood clots or if you want super tummy control. This is an amazing pair of leggings. And this pair is in brown. I've got them in black and gray and blue, I think I have them in. So love those, let me show you the jewelry. And then the earrings that I have on, they're just a fun earring that I picked up in, on Amazon, of course. Everything comes from Amazon. And they do have some white right here and it matches the shirt really well with the gold little hanging down tassels that it has. I really like him. And then I just put on this really cute gold cuff bracelet that I'm kind of in love with right now. Okay, that's everything I have on. I hope that you do enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if this is something that you enjoy with the quick tutorial. Let's get into you seeing exactly how I did this lip technique for women that have mature lips with the vertical lines and also a few tips to help with that. All right, to start out with, I'm going to overline my lips. And you'll have to ignore the fact that I don't have any blush on. I'm doing a blush and highlighter tutorial in just a second, but I wanted to do this lip part. So I'm using the NYX Slim Pencil, and this one is in Prune. It's pretty darn dark, but that's kind of what I want to achieve here. So when I outline my lips, I start here in the middle, and I go quite a bit below my lip line. And then when I go to the sides, I'm gonna stop and I'm going to go right onto the lip line, but I'm also not gonna go out here because not only do I get bleeding out here on my lips when I line them and go that far with my lip products, but I also feel like it makes your pout look like it's downturned. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then I'll just kind of talk you through it. So I went below the lip line right there. Now I'm going, and I did about a third of the lip. And now I'm going to take my lip pencil and instead of going right out where my normal lip line is, I'm gonna go up. So at the very end, I just kind of flipped it up and so you can see that it's not quite all the way out to the edge. Now on the top, I'm gonna to do the same thing. The top lip is gonna get a little bit of an overline for about a third of the lip. Now that I'm gonna go out here, I'm going to actually take it completely on the edge of that lip and then do the same thing to meet the bottom so that it, again, it's not going all the way out in the corner of my mouth. Okay, now here's a little tip if you want to have your lipstick or your lip line or anything last triple long, you can dab what you've done. So I completely dab that and then line it again if you want to. Now that is not an absolute necessity to do, but really sometimes it does help when you're talking about longevity. You have major lip lines going in your lips, vertical lip lines, I do have those. And if your lipstick bleeds, that's also a technique that helps that. So next I'm using a Rimmel lipstick, it's number 41. Um, I wish they still had this around. I know that the only place that you can find it is on Amazon, but I will also link a couple others that I think are pretty close color to that, to this one. What I love about it is how light it is, 
how creamy it is and also that it's kind of a pink nude instead of being a peach nude or just a beige nude. I love that pink part of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to now paint this just close to the lip line. And I went over it three times, now I'm just gonna purse my lips together. And when you do that, a lot of your lip line is gonna disappear. And that's good because now you've got this lip line that's gonna be fairly budge proof, but you've also got just a little bit of shadow around your lips that's gonna make them look bigger. Now you can do that dabbing method again. This will again help your lipstick stay longer if you're somebody that doesn't like to wear glosses. Okay, you can stop right there. Usually I don't. Usually I put a gloss right on top. So I'm gonna show you that in just a second. But again, you're gonna wanna stop right here if you're somebody that does get the bleeding outside of your lips. You're not gonna wanna go in with a gloss. Okay, now I'm just gonna take, this is I think Moonlight or Pearl, I can't remember which one, in the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline and I'm just gonna put that right in the middle. does instead of putting it all the way out again I get a little bit of bleeding out here and so I'm really careful about about not going further out there and my lips out there in the corner and sometimes that's where my lipstick will gather too so I hope that you did enjoy this really quick tutorial really fun and easy like I said you can do this with any lip combination and if you would like to see a video where I pair different maybe like three to five different lip combos together lip liner lipstick and lip gloss let me know that down in the co comment section because I can do maybe like warm, neutral, or nude, that kind of thing. Believe it or not, I just heard that the 90s lift that we all did with that darker pencil outside and then the really nude color in the middle is coming back in a little bit of a twist. And I can show you that too. I hope that you did enjoy this. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please take a moment to subscribe if you did enjoy this really quick tutorial. We have lots of these on my channel. Everyone, I hope you take care of yourselves. Have a great day and I'll catch you in my very next video. Goodbye, friends.